Welcome once again, everybody, to another edition of Papa Bojo's Kitchen. I'm going to do yet another recipe from Anna from Polish Your Kitchen from Poland. And this is a diet or a low calorie cabbage soup. It's really simple to make. It goes together so fast you won't believe it. So pay attention. It goes by quick. First, let, let me give you the uh, ingredients. We got half a head of cabbage here that's cut into cubes about that size. This is a little smaller. Typically, the head of cabbage would be more. So this recipe, if you got a bigger head of cabbage, that would be fine. Um, it calls for three onions diced. Because I have such little cabbage, I've got about um, two nice size um, onions diced up and roughly the same size pieces as these. I've got about three to four celery sticks diced up. It calls, the recipe calls for red pepper, red bell pepper. I didn't have red bell pepper, but I have is I have yellow and I have orange and they're two small ones, which equal about the size of one nice red bell pepper. Uh, by the way, interesting fact, in case you didn't know, if you ever notice at the market, green peppers are much less costly than yellow, orange, or red. And the reason why is a yellow, orange, and red pepper are just different stages of that green pepper staying on the vine longer and longer. It'll go from green to yellow to orange and then to red. So because it has to stay on the line, a vine longer and they can't get through them as quick, they cost more. Um, so anyways, um, I also have 14 and a half ounces of stewed tomatoes. Um, I've got four bay leaves, six allspice berries, six black peppercorns, and I've got, um, it's about uh, two teaspoons of salt. Then I've got eight cups of water. That's all that there is to this. Let's get to the stove and I'll show you how quickly this comes together. So this is how this comes together. You just take all your vegetables, you put them into the pot before you turn the flame on. Now you add your stewed tomatoes. You add all of your spices in. Add in your eight cups of water. Turn the heat on high. And you're gonna bring this up to a medium boil. But first, we're gonna stir all of this in together. making sure all the veggies and everything are all mixed in real well. And then we're going to cover until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a full boil like this, you're going to stir it, and you're going to turn the heat down to just a slight simmer boil. It's like a rolling type boil. And once you get it to that point, you're going to partially cover it and you're going to let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. After that time we're going to taste the soup and we're going to taste the texture and we're going to see if we want to cook it longer or make any adjustments in the seasoning. So it's been 10 minutes and you can see I still have a little bit of a rolling boil. I'm going to go taste the broth and for me I need a little more salt, so I'm going to add in about another half a teaspoon of salt. And I did already taste the cabbage, and um, for me, I like it a little bit softer, so I'm going to go about another 10 minutes with this slow boil in cooking. And then we'll be ready to plate. So now this good diet soup is at to the point where I like my cabbage cooked and the vegetables cooked and uh, is seasoned. And again, this is uh, Anna's recipe from Polish Your Kitchen. So I'm going to take and get myself some of these good hearty vegetables, get some of that great broth. And I'm going to put a little bit of parsley 
right there in the middle. And there you have it. One fantastic bowl. I'll bring it closer so you can see it. And I'll put some pictures at the end of the video. A perfect bowl of diet or very low calorie, but very good and hearty Polish cabbage soup. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, everybody. I hope you'll try this. It's so simple. You can see how fast it comes together. And it's just so good for you, too. So I hope you try this. I hope you come back and see me. And bon appetito, everybody. Have a great day.